Let's go back and now have a look at a timeline slicer, which is another kind of a slicer developed by Microsoft Corporation for us. Let's see what happens. Graphical date range selector for using and filtering dates. A very old slicer that has been used since the time Microsoft developed Power BI. It is currently in its second version and updated on 21st of June 2019. Let's say get it now. It would always ask to ask for a signed in credential before it allows you to download a good way of securing the system and tracking who is downloading what kind of visuals for its internal analysis. Let's see the most important section. What I said is try a sample. All right. And there are cases where you won't be able to find in within the Power BI. In that case, you can click on this link to understand a step by step visual, right? So these four steps will allow you to find your visual. A very good learning method. Again, let the Power BI desktop open and let's see what does it have in store for us. A strong recommendation from me would be researching all the 217 visuals which are present on the marketplace, which will help you understand couple of things as in uh, how are the standard developments being done and how are the different companies making the measures and using DEX queries to achieve particular thing apart from learning the new visuals. Now let's again this hint section is available over here we'll go through it in a while this is the section which would take a date value if you have a look at the data which the team has it is a date and a value kind of a day and the, what the closing value of a stock is kind of right there is no relationship between these two tables if i want to see the sales table it has date again and the category Fair enough, very simple way of viewing things. This slicer will essentially have all the values coming from the date column of MSFT table. Right? This uh, in our earlier section, we did see it can be also be driven by a query, tax query. But in our case, let's have it simple, let it come from this table. This is this. What it does is it allows us a different kinds of filterism basis a first half, second half, like and quarter, quarter one, January to March, quarter two, April to June, quarter three, July to September, and then quarter four, October to December. You can also have a monthly view from Jan till December. You can select multiple months together in a time. You cannot do see the drawback. You cannot do control and jump over to a non continuous dates. A uh, good feedback what we can give it to them to allow us to select two or non overlapping months. You can also have a week view of the month what you've selected and you finally have the dates so that is given over here. So, basis this. You can have different ways in visualizing a date and then using that date as a slicer to filter certain rows in other visualization. Let's have a look at the quarter sales. So now we know how, what this visualization looks like. So if I select June, it would basically point out to the year 2014. If I go down to week 24, it says it's part of quarter to June. All right, so you can have a cascading impact of the slices as well. What are the typical hints? Time slicer is a graphical data range selector used for filtering components in the report canvas. So what this screen, what you look over here is also known as report canvas. It has different types of data granularity, year, quarter, month, week and day. So five of them are available very quickly in front of your eyes. Start date of the week or quarter can be specified for the timeline visual and also has a different options of coloring. So this thing can be color cancel. We do not want to delete anything. You can color it using the format section of that visual 
select the visual go to format and you can have color value somewhere in this let's see this is the font color of this fiscal color year can be from january day one or you can set it to april and that can be your quarter one so a typical challenge which we saw in earlier version of this visual was the month the since different countries have a different quarter reporting system quarter start changes typically for us and for europe or probably us and india in that case it would mean you would have a flexibility of defining your quarter one which is already given very good kudos to them moving on if you see the value you can select the font color of it you can select outline of it you can change you can change the color of this as well first day granularity is fine slider color i want to change it to red is it available okay your own monthly visibility you don't want to have a day visibility you can pick that off so if you look if i remove day visibility this thing goes off d goes off from the top you can select that as well labels if any do you want to have the font colors defined you can change it title background can be done as well background can be changed to something if we want to or any background whichever is suitable can be used and finally the borders the visual headers are the basics which are available any which ways so overall we saw this timeline visual for going ahead with slicing going back let's have a look at the apps one more time what are the different formats of this available over here let's go to power bi visuals and we did kpi we did time we did the time as well beyond calendar slicer we did the kpi as well let's have a look at the infographics we did see the scroller we did one of the infographics we can have a look at org chart a very good way of understanding this has been developed probably in southeast asia with the languages given going ahead get it now so what does it show so a very good way of quickly learning this visual is with the help of samples again let's download the sample report as i download the sample report and open it let it load we would come across the org chart visual that's opening brilliant and once it's loaded we can have a view brilliant so this is your org chart okay brilliant it's in english and chinese both how does it fetch the data what is a database looking like so if you click on the org chart table you can have parent id so zero is the topmost level one is the second level two is the third level fourth level fifth level sixth level seventh level and eight levels so let's go to the visualization and check if are there eight level one two three four five six so what i see is one two three four and five levels right so why is it named as eight levels let's understand it further so these are the different parent ids these are its typical ids okay so zero has one child one has two child two has two child so let's go back zero has one child one has two child two has two child three should also have two child basically one two right so let's go back and check the three should be two child four is two child five is three child so this should be four has two child five has three child six should have another three child and seven should have two child let's have a look six should have three child seven has two child it shows as three 
why is that so all right so this is the organization of the overall structure of the levels if there is a link a color an image url tooltip can be formed this is a typical way any software will build a parent child relationship or a chart and it would reflect in this manner so it's fair to understand it has a flexibility of nodes it can have a flexibility of color and background it can have a flexibility of height ability to a set a node spacing and font size and label slot component and let's have a look at all these over here let's go to the visualization first page and click on it and go into the visuals and layout this is an org chart or a hierarchical chart you can make these two different changes you do you want bottom to top or top to bottom is another way of looking at it do you want left to right there are certain people reading from left to right or there are certain people who read right to left a very good way in to reach the masses uh, let's follow the traditional top to bottom uh, we can set the node level 5 6 or what if we make it 6 what does it have if you make it 4 what does it show so only four levels are shown if we say six levels then it shows this if we says eight level then it shows more probably what is the height if we want to make it 50 we can make that height overall height as 50 from top to the bottom to ensure that it fits the screen what is the width of the visual is it 50 140 or is it going out of the page let's make it 120 so it gets reduced perfect what is the horizontal spacing between the two blocks is 35 or let's make it 50 to increase the spacing so it looks nice what is the vertical spacing it looks clumsy vertically let's make it 60 and now it looks better what is the fill color you would like to have a look at let's make it pink and let's make the border as yellow what is the shape you would like to have do you want to make it star you can make it star as well you go ellipses can be built as well you can minimize it you can expand it minimize it you can expand it title do you want to have a title on it or no so overall this is a pretty basic but a very effective chart which can be used in your power bi visual for any understanding if you find a pertaining need in your project moving on what are the other categories in front of us so we are through with the three categories let's finish the other two which are present to us so we are done with these three let's see what are the different gauges available for a very interesting uh, gauge system which is available to us sometimes the back button crashes let's go into appsource.microsoft.com/enus/marketplace/apps click on power bi visuals click on gauges these are different gauges in front of us circle kpi gauge dial gauge a very exciting a motorbike or a racing car gauge in front of us rainbow gauge advanced donut are basically one and the same let's have a look at the dial gauge so when we say color indicated by red indicates actual value under the yellow target value pointer any value null blank values will be color green default value zero default maximum is one additional label it will append percentage sign fine so these are the things we need to take care while deciding it when we say let it now and continue it would take us to a page where we'll be getting the samples really excited to see this sample sheet how have they built it it's always learning by observation so therefore a good way of understanding any visual from the marketplace again would be from sample 